Hey yo, what's going on? Chatterblock here, and in this video I got 7 things I think you should know about Cyberpunk 2077. So if you haven't been keeping up to date with all the articles and gameplay footage, this is just a nice condensed fat free list that you can refer to before the game comes out. So, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> First up we have the map, uh, CDPR has named the map Night City, it's uh, often compared to the size of Grand Theft Auto V's Los Santos, they've calculated it to be around 24 kilometers which is roughly about 15 in-game walking miles. Um, the developers have also said there's going to be lots of tall explorable buildings so I don't, I'm not sure if that accounts for the vertical traversal when you're just climbing stories and all the skyscrapers, um, but definitely expect this map to be pretty substantial okay next up we got Johnny Silverhand a lot of you know by now that he's going to be played by Keanu Reeves we also know that Keanu spent 15 days doing voiceover work at CDPR studios um, and we're expecting Johnny to have some of the most dialogue out of all the NPCs in the game so a couple interesting rumors I came across during my research uh, we're definitely looking forward to a supposed cameo from both Hideo Kojima and Lady Gaga and we also heard that Lady Gaga has some involvement with the music as well but just like any rumor you want to take that with a grain of salt so we don't know for sure but it is likely CD Projekt Red has done an amazing job for keeping the budget tight for gamers um, so if you're buying this game on Xbox one and decide to upgrade to the Xbox Series X if you purchase the game on Xbox One, it will be a free upgrade whenever you upgrade to your new console. Uh, you're just going to have to download it. You will not have to purchase it again. Um, also, they've mentioned that there will be microtransactions, but only in multiplayer, and they're only going to be cosmetic. So there will be no pay-to-win system, which is awesome. What we know about the gameplay so far is that we're looking forward to a fully open world RPG, first person with third person cutscenes. Um, there's options for a non-lethal run, you get a fully customizable character all the way from their backstory down to their genitalia size. Um, there's a full perk and attribute system, and they're also saying that the loot is going to be a color coded rating system similar to Diablo's. As far as the weapons go, we know of uh, five different types at the moment. There's power weapons, which are close to modern day weapons, and the bullets ricochet on those. There's tech weapons, which are just supercharged electric um, that have solid metal projectiles. Smart weapons that have tracking bullets, melee weapons, and cyberware, which is just augmented enhancements within your body that do damage. Last up, I have the published PC specs straight from the Cyberpunk 2077 website. I'm only showing here the recommended requirements. Um, I wouldn't advise going for those minimum requirements just because this is going to be a pretty powerful game, especially since it's running on DirectX 12 with ray tracing. You're just going to need that hardware to back it up. And if you're in the process of buying a new graphics card, I'd recommend just waiting until the game comes out, at least a night or two after, and then the benchmarks will all come out, and then you can make a decision based off of that. So that about wraps it up for this Cyberpunk video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, appreciate you watching, and uh, definitely catch you in the next one. Peace.